Do you guys like my hair? guys welcome to a family vlog a weekend of my life and a trip to philly this is gonna be a really fun weekend the last time that i was in philly i filmed it for my sister's birthday and then the time before that i was in philly i filmed that too so we're just gonna make this like a little series now of me like visiting my sister if you guys are new here my older sister justine who also has a youtube channel she lives in philadelphia with her husband my brother-in-law and yeah my mom and i just thought it would be fun this weekend to go and visit her eat some really good food of course and i thought it would be fun to take you guys along so hope you guys come along with me this weekend i'm also gonna show my parents parents my hair because they haven't seen it in person since I dyed it darker. Let's go. Hello. Do you guys like my hair? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love it. That's it's so nice. pretty. <laughs> I know, right? It's brown. Yeah. It's like chocolate brown. Yeah, like tea. Yeah, like tea. What do you guys think of my mom's new sunglasses? We're gonna be matching. Mom, wait, I got a comment that when I dyed my hair, uh -huh. they said I look like you. Of course. We're having lunch at this place called Wilder. It should be fun. Let's go to Philly. Thank you, Jenna. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. It's so dark, oh, it's right? better in person, I, would, I think. Really? Yeah, I feel like the light doesn't capture the true color of it. Hey, baby cashew. No, I missed you. I missed you. Cashew, no biting. No biting. No. No biting. No, 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 no. You crazy. It's so cute, baby. Mom's just waiting. Yeah, I have to change. Justine, where's your outfit from? Cider! <laughs> you love cider. I've never tried anything from there. I got served so many ads that mm, I was like, eventually, like, I just have to try it. <laughs> nah, I don't know. It's like it's pretty, cute. Everything it's, you try on is always really cute. It's good value, I feel like. Yeah. What well, would you say it's like comparable to, to like a store at the mall? No, it's cheaper than Zara. That's why I like really? it. Because I, I think Zara is just like really Getting expensive. expensive. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, it's cheaper. I would say like maybe H&M, but it's like mm -hmm. an in-between H&M and like above forever, definitely. We're headed off to lunch. We're going to this place called Wilder. It's like pastas and pizzas and stuff, so that should be fun. Wait, what park are we at? Rittenhouse Park. We're at Rittenhouse Park. Square, Rittenhouse Square Park. We are at Rittenhouse Square, and every Saturday, is it, they have a farmer's market. Yeah. And it is so cool, you guys. We already got a lot of stuff. We got cookies. A free cookie. Pickles. Looking for wine. Duck eggs. Looking for wine. <laughs> Looking for wine. But it is so cool. If you guys are in the Philadelphia area near Rittenhouse This is Square. a must do. Yeah, it's must so cool. do if you're like a local. Do you know how long they're doing this for? All summer long, and then they do. <laughs> All summer long, you said? <laughs> they do it during like off seasons too, just a lot less, and I think the hours are, you know, less too. Nice. Well, you guys have to check this out. It's all like small shop owners and vendors selling organic goods, and there's mom. <laughs>
guys, here's the view from our hotel room. This is so pretty, except there's no water in the fountain. But from afar, you can't really tell. <laughs> So this is our hotel room. We're staying at the Logan in Philadelphia. We've stayed here before, once before I think with my dad too, but this is just very nice. It's nearby my sister's apartment. Really beautiful view. Um, I have one. You do? Yeah. You have travel size? Yeah. We just got back from lunch and shopping and I wanted to show you guys some stuff that we got. I just got two things from Uniqlo. You guys know how I feel about like the button down open trend thing, so I got two. <laughs> these are both from the men's sections also. That's the key to these button down trend things. Just get it from the men's section and like, it looks amazing. I got this Oxford blue one and it's in the size medium and I really love this because I just think this trend is so nice because basically like whatever you're wearing, you can dress it up or dress it down with the button down. Like, isn't this just, like, it just looks so much better. I feel like these button downs are such a nice way to elevate your outfit and elevate your look. So I got a blue and then I got this linen in this pink color, but this is in a size large because they didn't have a medium. But since it's linen, I just have to wash it once and then it'll shrink a little bit and then it'll feel like a medium after that. These are perfect for like, if you're going to the beach, honestly, like you can just wear this out with like a pair of jeans and a white top, add this on top and it's just so, nice and you barely put any effort into it but it's kind of like that effortless business like put an effort but not really look i love it so much i like actually need these in like every single color now the blue one is a little bit more structured because this is like actually a dress shirt but i just think that this looks so nice don't you think so oh i love it i know so right nice. okay and then my mom got just like some plain tees and a lounge top and that's it for our little Uniqlo haul. I'm like so tired. So I think we're gonna rest a little bit. And then I think we're gonna go to the, like this outdoor park slash like festival carnival. I don't really know. She said there's a Ferris wheel somewhere in Philadelphia right now. So we're gonna go there before dinner. Our dinner reservation is at 8 p.m. and we're eating at this place called K-Pod. So that should be really good. It's Korean food, but it's like, I think Korean like modern or Korean fusion or I don't even know. It's Korean something. I'll see you guys at Justine's place because I have to go get my bags from there actually. And you guys will see Cashew. Hey, sweetie, I ain't no handle. No, sweetie. This is a cheddar that we got from the farmer's market today. Oh, whoa. Mm. Oh, we don't need that. We should just... No? Well, it's crunchy, but they don't have enough vinegar. Yeah. Something about Justine and Justin's place is that they always have cheese and they always have meat, no matter what. <laughs> There was one time where mom was like, oh, you have cheese, right? And I was like, actually, no. And she looked at me like, are you okay? <laughs> like something is terribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it is 7.17 right now. And we all just decided to crash and take a nap instead of go to that like festival thing. But we're gonna go to that tomorrow morning maybe. I think so. I passed out for like an hour. I think we all didn't Did realize nothing. how tired we were from like how hot it was outside and then like, just like, I don't it's know. The heat. It's yeah, the heat. it was definitely the heat. We were all it's just like 90. dead. Yeah. But now we're taking Cashew out for a walk and we're taking him to the dog park before dinner. Cashew had to apply to this dog park. It's so cute. Okay, here we are. Oh, he wants to play with the big dogs. Cash, you're not a big dog. What's the next sneaker release or the next big one? Is there one that people are like talking about right now? Not, uh, there's like a lot of like rumor stuff, but no, nothing, nothing? Like crazy. Hmm. I feel like this is the most recent one, right? Yeah, that's definitely been really wild. Actually, he, uh, Joe Fresh Goods, he just announced that he's doing a collaboration with Vans. So I feel oh, like Vans. that's probably the next big like, whoa, let's keep an eye on.
I hit a peak What you doing right now is not for me Need you in a night, trouble with my sleep Gonna ease up before I dive deep Never should've felt ya Good morning, you guys. We need to talk to you about K-Pod because... So good. Yeah, that place was so good. I actually went there once before. I think back in high school when like I thought I wanted to go to UPenn, when I thought I could get in, but I didn't. Went there, I remember it was just such a cool place because all those lights that you guys saw, that was pretty much the same. Ambiance. Yeah, like just really cool, like modern and like pop colors everywhere. But they closed, this is what I don't know. So they closed... They closed the pandemic. during the pandemic and they stayed closed for most of the pandemic, even as like restaurants started reopening with like outdoor seating and stuff like that. And then oh, wow. I can't remember when they reopened, but it was more recently. And when they did, they announced that they have a Korean chef and they were rebranding the entire restaurant to K-Pod. Mm. So before it was only American food, but now... No, no, no. Japanese. It was sushi. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, you're sushi. right. Before yeah. it was just sushi. And now it's Korean food. And you guys, it was so good. I think my favorite thing that we got. Mine was an uni hand roll. Yeah. Okay. So they have like a bunch of hand rolls that you guys can get. And they were just like amazing. It was better than like, I feel like sashimi sushi because they put so much on one hand roll. It was so good. We got honey butter fries for any of you guys that know honey butter chips, which is like a Korean staple snack. They made a fries version and it was so good. I know. Creamy doppelki, essentially. Yeah, Creamy that was cake. interesting. That was definitely very different. Oh, the classic Korean sweet pancakes for dessert and like mm. a roasted sweet potato for dessert. It was so... Dessert was heavenly. Everything yeah. was so good. Oh my God. So I just wanted to tell you guys about it. If you're in the Philly area or if you're ever visiting, check out K-Pod. And it was so like, many hand We rolls. just wanted to try like everything. Yeah, oh, drinks, that was drinks so were so good. good. Cocktails were amazing. The drinks were good too. You can get a bottle of soju. So we went there and then we just like totally crashed last night. And this morning we're going to go to urban farmer urban farmer yeah. which is in the hotel that we're staying in the the logan and then and then i don't know next and then we're gonna go home so this is like a quick like 24 hours in philly but i don't know it's the weekend that's what the weekend's for have you shown the view the view yeah i did there. i even though the fountain's not on you guys can't tell that right <laughs> cashew. hey sweetie cash him <laughs> you can totally tell that he like smiles i know right cashew hi, hi cashew. sweetie hi. you're a cutie pie oh he thinks that mom's gonna give him her. food. Baby. He just wants to play. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Okay, you guys, that's the restaurant, Urban Farmer Philadelphia's Steakhouse. Honestly, I thought it was really good for brunch. Bloody Mary was good, service was great. I'm waiting for Justine, but we're gonna go back to her apartment, drop off cashew, and then go home already. I can't believe it's already over. Hi, baby! Let's go, boom. Let's go home, let's go home baby. Come on, let's go home. Let's go. Back home in Darling.
to now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here. I mean, I'm obviously not in Philly anymore, but regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed just coming along another family vlog. I love these the most just because like this is my family and being able to share my family like memories with you guys is so, so just meaningful and it'll be so cool to look back on all of these videos 10 years from now and see how my family was and just being able to share that with someone else and like however many people are subscribed is just, that's so cool. I was actually editing this video in the car, you guys, and I feel like it was a little bit short for my usual vlogs, but I feel like I just haven't been able to film like a whole like work week in my life or whatever, just cause the summer has been crazy. I've been taking PTO and vacation, visiting my family like this time and just like things are kind of crazy, but I love the summer for that reason. And I'm just trying to stay busy as I'm waiting for Thomas to come home. Go visit my sister cause it had been a while, spend time with my mom and dad and dogs and it was just really really fun a work week in my life vlog is starting tomorrow i promise but i'm just trying to get up to speed with everything and make sure i'm prepared and like have fun content for you guys too not just like being here in the same place every single week on youtube for you guys but being able to share my life with you guys in other ways too and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this make sure you're subscribed if you're not already i post new videos every monday and thursday i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video but until then miss you already